Welcome back to AM Northwest. Our first guest is an author, entrepreneur, and TV icon. And as a star of Little House on the Prairie, she recently celebrated the hit show's 50th anniversary. I can't believe that. And as a co-founder of the lifestyle brand Modern Prairie, she's made a big commitment to fight pancreatic cancer. Here to share more, we welcome to AM Northwest, the one and only Melissa Gilbert. How you doing, Melissa? I'm doing great. How are you doing on this glorious day? I'm doing good. I want to talk to you about pancreatic cancer because it's touched our lives here. And I'm curious as to how important it is to you to fight this. I think pancreatic cancer is one of those diseases that touches everybody's life in some way. And it does so in such a brutal way because early detection is almost impossible. So by right. the time a person, loved one's diagnosed, it's, it, it's a death sentence. And it came like that to my mentor and second father, Michael Landon. And it took down this incredibly strong, physical, vivacious, vibrant, amazing man who mentored me for so much of my life. And it took him so quickly. And then just a few years later, again, it took another friend of mine, Patrick Swayze, another, you know, when you think of these guys, they're like big manly men. Yeah. And this disease decimated them down to virtually nothing. Oh my goodness, there's a picture of me and Patrick Swayze in the 80s yeah. when I think I was 15 years old. Oh my Lord, that's how far back we go. And to, to imagine how fast and how horribly this disease affected them and, and, and took their lives and affected everyone around them. I mean, my heart just aches for the Landon family all the time and for Lisa, the buddy's beloved wife. Um, it is a horrible, horrible disease. So I have an enemy to fight. And now because of Modern Prairie, I'm in a position to fight it. And it actually feels really good to do something proactive. Absolutely. Uh, we, uh, we here at AIM Northwest, we lost uh, our co-host, Dave Anderson, to pancreatic cancer a while back. So we feel your pain. We get it. And so we're so proud of you for doing this. So tell me about Modern Prairie. Thank you so much. Well, Modern Prairie is a lifestyle brand founded by my partner, Nicole Hazy and I, that is geared towards the seasoned woman, let's call her, women over 50. There's Nicole with me in that photograph. And um, we were at the 50th anniversary celebration of Little House on the Prairie in Simi Valley. And right next to our tent was the Pancan tent. And we started having conversations back and forth. And Nicole came up with the idea to create some of our fabrics in the pancreatic cancer awareness color, which is next month, of purple. So we have pocket squares for the guys in a purple kind of calico floral and a purple stripe and plain purple. We have our throw blanket, we have sewing kits, we have bonnets, we have this tote bag. Well, there's everything, but look at this badge. <laughs> I love um, it. You're helping. Love and it. all of the proceeds from everything we're making goes to PanCan to fund their research, to fund support for people who have pancreatic cancer for their relatives and to fund, God willing, someday a cure. Yeah, absolutely. And we know that uh, PanCan has been able with the research to lower the, uh, or to, excuse me, to higher the survival rate. It's still not high, but much higher than it was initially years ago. Like I think it was 8% or 9%. And now I think it's 14%, something like that. Uh, 13, I think it's gone from 8 to 13 or yeah. 14. Yeah, yeah something. absolutely. It is an abysmal survival rate, absolutely. and I don't think we're going to get without early detection at this point. But it, it, it's at least a start. And the other thing about this is when um, pancreatic cancer research is done, it, it, it informs how we treat other cancers as well. You know, this is all interconnected. Yeah. So every step in the direction of, of curing and treating pancreatic cancers a step in uh, the direction of curing and treating all cancers. And that's incredibly important. And it's up to us to do it. I saw you react when I called you an icon, a TV icon, but you are, so I know you are. And I have to say, you must have the most interesting fans. Our boss is a huge fan. He recites uh, quotes from every episode. He, he loves to watch over and over again. Little House on the Prairie, which is very entertaining to us. Um, what are your fans <laughs> like? Do they quote different uh, you know, lines from the show to you? They know it backwards and forwards. Yeah. They quote dialogue from the show. And generally, when they meet me, burst into tears. Oh. So there's a lot of crying. Because Little House was such an important part of people's 
whole lives, not just childhood. So they associate it with all of these events in their lives and all of these moments in their lives or or to escape from a life that a, a childhood that was incredibly difficult. Yeah. They get that a lot. So uh, there's a lot of crying. Yeah. Um, there's also a lot of joy. Yeah. So it's a combination. There's like smiling through tears, which is basically what I did on the show for you, 10 years. Yes, you did. That's wow. right. You did do that. You are living this incredible life now. Um, you look like you're super happy. You're married to Timothy Busfield. What a sweetheart of a man he is. You're living essentially in the country, right? This is you, you two in front of the house that you fixed up. Um, you have a cute dog. We're big on dogs over here. We love, uh, you have a couple dogs, right? Yeah, that's that's actually Sundance. That's the baby. She's a year old. And then we have Chicago, who's a rescue from the anti cruelty There's Chicago, center in Chicago. She's our, she's our little chooch is her nickname. And we have chickens. We have a garden. Our life is relatively peaceful. Well, we, now we have nine grandchildren. So wow. I, I say peaceful. Kind of as a joke. <laughs> wow. But it seems like you love life. Like it'll be, it seemed from your Instagram, you love to bake, you love to cook, you love to just be casual, relax, a little like Little House on the Prairie. It's interesting how that happens, isn't it? Right. That's why my last book was titled Back to the Prairie, because I woke up one day and went, oh my gosh, I'm living the life that I had when I was nine and it's back. And of course it is. This is who I was before I got Little House on the Prairie. I was the little girl who ran to see any animal that was in my realm and loved to play dress up and loved to play dress up and play, you know, older games and role playing games. So for me to be at this place now makes perfect sense at this point in my life. I love it. We're going to tell everyone, we're going to put all the information about, about Modern Prairie and how to fight pancreatic cancer on our website at katu.com. Melissa, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. This was a really important and wonderful conversation. It was. Thank you. We'll be right back with more AM Northwest. Don't go away.